Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to uh, install the electric actuator system. Um, when you get the system, it'll have all of these components in it. You should have an actuator, a wire harness assembly, switch connector, switch, a couple of screws, plunger, jam nut, shifter body. You should have a, a uh, shifter bracket, thread adapter, and a jam nut. You've already at this point should have installed your cable into your cover. When you get the cable, it's got this jam nut on it, which is not used with the electrical, syst electrical shift system. So we'll take that off and discard it. You won't need that. Then you'll take the thread adapter and screw it onto the cable. There's some wrench flats. You'll screw that on first. Good idea to put some thread sealant on the threads here that way it doesn't leak water into the system when you're going through uh, creeks and so on. But you'll screw that all the way down, have the jam nut on there. Once that's screwed all the way down and tight, of course you'll want to snug those up with wrenches. Then what you'll want to do is run the jam nut on, a little quarter 28 jam nut, run that down about a half inch or so and then the plunger goes on the end of the cable run that all the way down until it bottoms out run the jam nut back up to it snug those up with wrenches that should be good and you'll want to mount that into the shifter mount bracket and screw on the body Okay. Now see the little plunger inside there the proper adjustment on this is to keep that plunger below this surface just a little bit somewhere about an eighth of an inch or so okay so you'll want to uh, adjust it until you have that about an eighth inch or so below that's a pretty decent setting right there we're gonna try that one then at that point you can mount your actuator assembly little hole in the end of the actuator assembly you'll mount go inside that plunger a couple of 1032 or uh, quarter 28 screws here we'll mount those of course you'll snug those up with a wrench also again I'm just hand assembling all this stuff hand tight that way uh, it's a little bit quicker on the video we won't have to waste a bunch of time so <clears throat> this should be properly adjusted <clears throat> now it's a matter of hooking up your electrical portion which obviously with the uh, connector here that's pretty straightforward just plug the connector on now for the switch in after you've run this through the body In the switch port wherever you're gonna wherever you're gonna mount it on the dash or whatever you'll put the switch connector on the end uh, per your instructions the blue wire gets connected to pin 7 the green wire gets connected into pin 2 which is labeled on this switch connector and the black wire gets connected to pin 3 the reason this doesn't come assembled from us is because it's awful big you might have to drill too large of a hole to get through get the cable through uh, into your uh, cabin and then you'll connect the switch switch connected on there mount it in place and then uh, I've got a little power supply here we'll connect it up to the power supply This is uh, basically taking place of your battery and then hit the switch and you should go into lock. When you go into full extend you get the blue light on the switch telling you you're in full extension and you should be in lock when that happens. And it's as simple as that.
Lock. Unlock.